Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. The first thing you need to know about wine tasting is that it's not as easy as it may seem. If you think that all you have to do is just sit down, pour yourself a glass of wine and then taste it. You are wrong. There are several factors that come into play when you decide to taste a wine. Wine is made from grapes. Grapes can be grown in many different climates and conditions. The climate plays a very important role in the quality of the wine that will be produced. For instance, if you want to make a wine that has fruity characteristics, you should look for grapes that are grown in warm climates. The same goes for wines that are rich in alcohol. The higher the alcohol content, the more concentrated the flavor. However, the climate does not only affect the grapes but also the type of soil. Soil composition also affects the taste of the wine. The soil in which the grapes grow also affects the way they mature. It is true that the best grapes will ripen faster. However, if you want to taste a wine that has a strong flavor, you should choose grapes that have matured slowly. You can tell how long the grapes have been in the vine by looking at the stem. The longer the stem, the older the grape. The grapes are harvested once they are fully ripe. This means that if you want to taste a dry wine, you should choose grapes that are ripe. If you want to taste a sweet wine, you should choose grapes with a low sugar content. If you want to taste an acidic wine, you should choose grapes from areas where there are high levels of acidity. After the grapes have been picked, they are transported to the winery. This process takes time and it is not done overnight. In some cases, the grapes are transported using refrigerated trucks. This method makes sure that the grapes stay fresh until they reach the winery. After the grapes arrive at the winery, they are crushed. This is done using large machines called crushers. Once the grapes have been crushed, they are put into large vats called fermenters. During this process, the sugars and acids in the grapes are converted into alcohol. This process is called fermentation. Once the fermentation process is complete, the wine is transferred into barrels. These barrels come from different types of trees. Oak barrels are used for red wines and white wines. The longer the wine stays in the barrel, the better it will age. When you decide to taste a wine, you should always start with a small sip. This allows you to appreciate the aroma of the wine. After you have tasted the wine, you can take another sip. This is called a sniff. This allows you to enjoy the bouquet of the wine. Then, you should swallow the wine and wait for the effects to kick in. When you do this, you are experiencing the aftertaste. You should remember that the aftertaste will depend on the type of wine that you are drinking. If you want to taste a wine from all over the world, you should look for a wine that has traveled a long distance. This will give you a better appreciation of the wine.